fishing. Drop off 15, 20 feet. Brush right on the edge. Catching these fish. Not big. I'm going to catch them only 10 feet down. decent one so again we got our wild gear 75 quart so it's mixed in I don't have anything in the minnow side but I got my fish in here on these so got the coals here seven of them Gonna be awesome. No, they seem to be working out pretty good. Meant for bass. It's a good uh, non-puncture type thing. So pretty pleased so far.
suspension and a 12 inch. Not biting hard again, uh, but at least these are pulling down on it pretty decent, especially compared to the last ones. I was, the last spot I was at, uh, not very good. That's so what we try to do here in Milford. Uh, I can catch them Farnham Creek underneath the bridge. Uh, it's usually eight feet deep there. But yeah, today water temp up here is 37 degrees. I have not caught a fish under 12 feet, so uh, yeah, even brush even comes out over here. So don't let people tell you in the winter time you got to go deep. I mean, maybe depth of water, but you can catch them shallow in the water column. Start of the day off around 12 30, 1 o'clock. Catch them 10 feet down and channel edge 15 down to 20 feet. So there's up on top of the brush. This brush ball here is pretty tall. I think it goes up to 6 feet. suspended up high too. I've tried fishing the bottom, caught some white bass in 20 feet. So I just gotta play around. You'll see all kinds of fish down there near the bottom, 15, 20 feet down. Uh, you're not getting bites or you're catching the wrong species, don't be afraid to fish shallow.
limb or not. Wanted to make sure, slowly raised it. Thought it was a little thump, but you know, out here in the wind, waves moving. You know, it's not a big one, but uh, that's pretty much what they've been doing today. Paired with the H and H reels, 500 series spinning reel, seven plus one bearings. So I mean, this thing is smooth. The drag is awesome. And I can feel this fish grab it. Like I said, I, I can feel my jig hitting the limbs. I just ultra sensitive tip, but awesome strong backbone. So even fishing. 12 feet down, you know, with 10 foot rod, I can still lift the fish in the boat. I ain't got to worry about it bending, doubling over, uh, and having to reel it up. Bad Milford Lake crappie. It's not a two pounder, but these things are healthy, they're eating good. That one I wasn't sure. I grabbed it. Just how I was going up along a limb. Seem to be on the, the channel edges. 
Um, we got a chance of rain coming in. It's getting getting about dark. It's almost five o'clock, and the fish are hungry. They're wanting to eat. Shad all over. Just gotta find something that they're gonna want to hit over uh, the shad. I came in off the main main lake. Back in this little pocket, you can see shad just stacked up five feet deep. big fish but as long as you got some arm strength you should be able to do it with any size crappie. Slings them in. Again just out of habit normally I grab the line. So make sure I get them in there especially if I'm fishing 15 feet down. Hesitate a little too long. Before I realized I had one on, it was off. Thank you. 
very small fish. Probably five inches. The thing choking this big old toe tamer with a bloody water jig head. So this shows you don't be afraid to use big jigs. You can catch these big old guys, girls. Nice and fat. We'll see how much it weighs. This will be my last fish today. See that? 145. Nice fish.
friggin' seven decent fish. Got about 20 fish today. It's getting to be. So I think these cool systems are pretty good. Not too bad. Obviously that fish was it was only 13 and a half inches and it was almost a pound and a half. So they are feeding up. And again, got the wild gear cooler. Heaps of fish in there. So I got seven fish in here. Uh, plenty of room. So, you know, they're out. I ain't gonna try to put my hand in there. It's freaking cold. Like I said, it's 37 degrees. Uh, wintertime fishing. Not catching anything under 12 feet down. Uh, thanks to Eric and Leanne for hooking us up with wild gear. Going in with H&H &H Rods and Reel sponsorship. So that's it. Getting ready to go back to the ramp call today.